Hello everyone, my name of course is Resonant and welcome back to another video. Now we've got some more exciting news on some more upcoming game. It's all really coming out at the moment and I'm very excited to bring it to you guys. And this one especially is very exciting since I haven't actually done a video on this game for quite a while. I did do a brief explanation video on what the game was and all the good stuff back in the day. I think that was what, five, six months ago? Uh, that, that was a very interesting video. I definitely recommend you guys go and check that one out if you haven't already. But this video is going to be some new information that has actually been released. Well, I say information. This is actually the new gameplay trailer that came out approximately an hour ago for Mordhau. Now, first off in this first scene, we have a good screenshot or at least some good gameplay of the scenery that we'll be expecting in Mordhau. The detailed scenery with the castle wall. We have all the stones that are individually put out in the wall. And just all, all the scenery is very detailed, well detailed. We also have some tents over here which indicates that there will be some camping outside. Uh, the attackers are going to be sieging this place and of course the banners. Will these banners be customizable? I guess we'll have to find out in game. But this is a very nice looking game. Now we have the two sides charging together. And if I quickly go back to this moment over here, this is a good screenshot that tells us all the sort of stuff we're going to be expecting from customization and the armor. Now there is actually a customization video on the Mod How YouTube channel. Go and check that out once again. If you go and look at the Mod How original gameplay trailer video, you'll be able to see all the videos they put out so far. But we have a good detail on all the customization that you'll be able to do. We have some people in the background that are a lot less armoured but I guess they're going to be very much quicker on foot. This guy at the front is very well armoured and of course this guy doesn't even look like he has any sort of top on which is very interesting to see. But of course I guess the more armour you have the more protected you are against enemy weaponry but of course the slower you will be. So it's a good choice between whether you go for the quick and agile warrior or you go for the big heavy tank. Now we can also see some variety in some of the weapons. We have some big great swords here. It looks like a bastard sword. I mean a claymore type sword over here. We also have some axes, two handed axes, one handed axes and all of the like. So moving straight on to the next bit. That is such a cool shot. We have the first person perspective going in. And how many guys does he take down here? <laughs> Looks like it takes one, two, three, four guys down with one swipe. Or three or four guys down with one swipe. That is insane. And of course, one guy's head come completely straight off. This guy has been completely beheaded. I guess that's what you get for wearing very little armor into the battle. But of course, we've got some good examples of the blood effects. And these guys look like they're outside the castle. So will you be able to sully forth or sally forth before you're actually sieged? That might be an option that will be able to happen. Now looking back at here, we have some idea of the type of combat that we'll be seeing. There is a part later on where you will be actually seeing some more detail on how flowing the battle and the, mo the movement mechanics and fighting mechanics will actually be. Now this is a good example of some siege weaponry that you will be able to use in the game. Here we have a catapult being pushed up by a knight. This is going to be very cool being able to use these in the game some first person perspectives and of course the cannonball sorry catapult ball i didn't mean cannonball that's a bit weird coming in there with them attacking the enemy absolutely smashing into them you can see the swords going flying you can see the ragdoll physics which are might i add very nice in this game and of course the catapult ball actually splits up into many pieces will these be able to do bits of damage on their own that'll be very interesting to see climbing up the ladder and a good stab into the enemy there. So here we have some of the archery mechanics that you'll be able to use in a mod how. Now archery is a big part of medieval warfare where you'd be going into battle while your allies are actually covering you from the safety of maybe on top of a wall as we can see here. This also is a good way of seeing what it looks like inside the castle. Of course, we saw the outside of the castle before, but now we're inside. We see all the detail that's been put in. We've got some tents over here, some marquees. We also have some shrubberies are being grown there. Sorry, every time I hear shrubberies, I just think of the Holy Grail. And of course, the dead bodies littered there. It looks like we've got some sort of head or limb there. It's a very, very gruesome game. Now... That is a very good example 
of the projectile mechanics that we'll be seeing in Mordhelm. The satisfying throwing of javelins and arrows hitting into them. And of course the ragdoll physics as he falls off there. And it's sticking into the enemy. It looks like there we have some sort of taunt mechanic. And uh, this guy is showing off pretty well all the combat that you can actually do in the game. Now some very dramatic pulling out shots here. But this is good for showing some of the weapons that we've actually got here. Once again, we've got a sword. It looks like we've got some sort of pole arm or pike or, you know, scythe type weapon. I don't know if that's part of the weapon or that's just a rock there. But also we've got a very beheaded guy here with blood everywhere. We've got some limbs scattered everywhere. And if you go back to one of the older videos that they put up on the channel, it does show the decapitations and the amputations that you can actually do in this game. And of course, we have cavalry. Cavalry is going to be a big part of this game as well. Games such as Chivalry, which this game you might find is a lot like from what we've seen so far. But of course, they're trying to improve it in every single way they can. But this game is bringing in cavalry. You have the lances, you have the knights on horseback that can be able to charge into battle with the infantry. This gives a nice variety of all the different troops you can play as and the impact there is very very nice it's quite hard to get some good impact in a game when you're hitting the soldiers it needs to feel like you're hitting them with a weapon it doesn't need to feel light and floaty but from what it looks like here it really has some weight behind it going back there we also have some good examples of the sort of weapons that you'll be able to use we have a sort of morning star type weapon here and of course cavalry to infantry fighting Now, before I'm going to show you guys this sequence all in its glory, I'm not going to pause it after I've just had a bit of a word about it. It is a very good example. I'd be looking out for all the types of combat and the attacks and the defenses you can do. From what I've seen all in all in this game is they're trying to get the combat as flowing as possible. You're trying to get in from one attack straight to the next one to try and get around your enemy and win the battle with skill and not just plain hit, block hit block they're trying to get it very very much flowing and from what you'll be able to see from this next sequence i think you'll agree with me they are doing a pretty decent job and of course we have the namesake of the game the maud how grip you'll be able to do all these different types of grips and maneuvers with your weapons of course you can see the maud how grip here is where you turn your weapon upside down and you hit them with the hilt of your sword Anyone that watches Scalagrim will understand that. I, I presume that they took that from him. Because um, <laughs> I don't know many other games that would actually use that. But it's I so hope that is in the final game. That's such a good idea. Now, of course, this is from a very famous meme in the Scalagrim community. Where there's some... Actually, I'll just put the link to the video in the description. I suggest you go and watch it. Um, it's to do with throwing your pommel. Of course, it's such an impractical thing to do, but it's so funny. Unscrewing the pommel off the end of your sword and throwing it at your enemy too, in the words of the medieval training manuals, end him rightly. So you looks like you'll be able to do this in the game, which is very interesting, and I'm so glad they put this in. Let's just watch that one time. The impact of a pommel going onto a tin helmet doesn't seem like it would do very much, but never underestimate ending him rightly. And just before, I end, just before I end this video, I'll put a little bit of input into this scene because I've just noticed something that, you know, is a bit strange on the battlefield. He's actually got some sort of a medieval 
instrument. I don't, I'm not completely sure the name of it. I think it's a lute. Um, there is a medieval instrument or a renaissance instrument called a lute. I'm not completely sure if it is this one, um, but why Why would a soldier, a knight, be having that? I guess we're just going to have to find out where you'd be able to go into battle playing your instruments, <laughs> sporting the lute or the drums or something like that that'll be very interesting to see but other than that guys that is where i'm going to leave this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to leave a like you know what to do if you didn't and if you haven't already i'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel we just hit 10,000 subscribers which is absolutely insane for a channel like mine so i'm really happy for the support and once again all the links to my steam group where you can put suggestions my subreddit where you can put suggestions and my twitter and my facebook and all that kind of stuff will be in the description if you want to go check it out follow it join it put in all your suggestions or your thoughts about my videos but other than that guys i will see you in the next one